Hi everybody, it's Nikki again, and I am here to do video number three on um, tips that I've received from a Medtronic trainer. Um, this video has less of my, fewer of my opinions than the last one on the Dawn Phenomenon, um, but there are guaranteed, guaranteed to be a couple. Um, it is my personal experience, some personal opinion, um, and absolutely not one drop of medical advice whatsoever. Even though I believe this does come from Medtronic, that's what the trainer has told me, um, but they don't give medical advice. So with any of these things, if you're making any changes, please consult your provider um, and do so safely and, and responsibly. Um, okay, so this, this uh, tip is for repeated blood glucose requests, um, the BG requests. Um, for this one, I gotta say, while I was in auto mode, I pretty much had this on lockdown. So, um, you know, I'm gonna read what they have said, um, but I will say that I handled it without doing these things, and I really had a lot of success with this. Um, but I will start with telling you what they recommend, um, and since they made it, I guess they get um, they get to say what they what they want us to do. Okay. Medtronic wanted to focus next on the repeated BG requests that patients may sometimes receive from their Minimed 670G insulin pump. Although it seems like this is a problem with the system, the most important message to pass along is this is not a glitch. This is not a problem. <laughs> Um, but rather a safety feature used by the smart guard auto mode algorithm to ensure it's adjusting insulin properly for the patient. I actually do believe that. And as I said, I was able to get it to work just fine. Um, and I liked the idea that this thing, you know, wanted a good number to operate off of. Okay. Um, there are times when we know a BG will be required. Uh, this part gets a little bit confusing. I'll say that before I get into it. Um, here are the times. To re-enter auto mode after being in safe basal, um, this is to reassure the, that the system, this is to reassure the system that all is well and it can go ahead and dynamically adjust insulin every five minutes. Um, to re-enter auto mode after an auto mode exit. For example, when the algorithm has been delivering insulin at its minimum or maximum delivery of insulin for its specified period of time. The patient is asked to check and enter that BG to re-enter auto mode, as well as to ensure they don't need to take some other action, like giving a correction bolus. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think that's confusing because I think what they did in that second one was explain what safe basal was or why we entered safe basal. So I didn't think of it as an auto mode exit as much as I thought of, you know, we, we get kicked into safe basal following that minimum and maximum delivery. So I didn't really understand the way those two were broken down. Um, so number three, to enter auto mode for the first time after inserting a new sensor. Note, to enter auto mode, the algorithm requires both the calibration to begin getting sensor data and a BG check to actually enter auto mode. These two requests are typically within approximately 20 minutes of each other and may seem like extra checks when, in reality, it's the system fulfilling all requirements for auto mode. It's important to set the expectation with your patient that these two requests are normal functionality of the system. Um, again, I think once you figure it out that you have to have that, um, it's a second calibration before entering auto mode, and I guess a BG, I didn't even know that. Um, I know that you have to calibrate twice before entering auto mode on a new, on a brand new sensor. And once you figure it out, you figure it out. Um, and it stops making you want to rage quit your bump. Um, Repeated BG requests. Every now and then, the system will ask, that's interesting, because it's not really every now, when you don't have it down, it's not every now and then, but every now and then, the system will ask the patient to enter a BG into the system. And after doing so, the patient gets immediately asked again. This does not mean the sensor glucose is not accurate. Uh, this simply means that the initial BG entered was not accepted by the system. Remember, there are conservative safety measures uh, that, ensure all systems are functioning at top performance before allowing insulin automation. This is intentional and is designed for patient safety. In these instances, the patient should take the following steps. One, enter and calibrate with a current BG. Two, if not accepted, wait at least 30 minutes before attempting another BG entry. And three, continue to check BG as needed for therapy decisions, for example, for meal or correction boluses. Um, I said in the last one, and I gotta say in this one, some of this stuff I just don't really understand 
um, and this is one, if your S, if, if, if you've entered a BG and you know that's your current blood glucose and you enter it in and it won't accept it, um, I don't understand the statement where they say this does not mean the sensor glucose is not accurate. Um, one of them is accurate and if the SG won't update to your current BG, then in my mind, the SG is no longer accurate. So I didn't understand that statement, um, but I am doing what I said I would do and that is to kind of pass this information on and um, maybe there's something in there that can help somebody out there because that's what this is all about. So questions, comments. <laughs> Oh, thanks for watching and have a great evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are. Bye.